The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency has directed all its commands and formations nationwide to begin a clampdown on illegal sales and use of nitrous oxide, also known as laughing gas, following its abuse. NDLA spokesman Femi Baba Femi says the decision to clamp down on those involved in illegal sale and use of nitrous oxide follows analysis of the effect, which include dizziness, disorientation, headache, lightheadedness, fainting spells, hallucinations, among others. The agency says it would not hesitate to wield the big stick on anyone involved in the illegal sale or use of nitrous oxide in the overall interest of public health. I have joining me the Director of Media and Advocacy of the NDLA, Femi Baba Femi. Thank you for joining us on TBC News at 1. Inhalation, consumption. Thank you. All right. Consumption of nitrous oxide seems to be the trend. As an agency, what have you discovered to be responsible for this? Well, quite um, some factors. Um, one, this, um, this particular substance is um, something, it's what um, one of those things we call them, the, one of the narco trends. Some of the things happening across uh, the world at the moment, some of, I mean, one of the substances that um, the young people are abusing at the moment. And if you, um, if you follow reports um, of uh, developments in the UK, you would also see that um, this is of um, a great concern to the UK government and um, processes are also ongoing there to ban uh, this particular substance due to its um, abuse mm -hmm. by people. And um, that's um, exactly what uh, we believe some of our people have also copied here. Uh, but beyond that, again, we've also discovered that um, due to the death of some of, of the other substances of abuse, like tramadol, like codeine, uh, because when um, you will discover that these other uh, pharmaceutical opioids um, and have actually been uh, controlled, or the access to them have been very limited or restricted due to um, some regulatory policies as well as um, the activities, the enforcement activities by the NDLA, um, mm -hmm. given the number, uh, the huge figures of seizures we've had um, in, um, in those particular, uh, um, of those particular substances, drugs, with um, uh, one of the recent ones, 13.4 million pills of tramadol somewhere uh, in Lagos. There. So all of that have created a dark of sort of um, a scarcity of these other um, opioids that they abuse. And so they have to look to some other things, especially uh, new psychoactive substances. And that's um, one of the things um, that um, has come to play with, um, with uh, the nitrous oxide. Mm. And in addition to that, you also have um, some of uh, influencers and celebrities also um, trying to promote this, glorify or glamorize it as, mm. um, as, um, as, as the new norm, as something that um, young people can also rely on, look forward to, to for recreation. And um, that's why the agency has also um, taken further steps to put some of these people as uh, persons of interest in our operational activities. All right. Um, and in a, all right, Mr. Wawafemi, let's talk about, you know, this clamp down strategies that you are adopting. Talk to us about it and your efforts to ensure that it's not only the average citizen that is uh, picked up, you know, in this now, that even the celebrities, I mean, anyone and everyone found wanting actually, uh, you know, goes through the, the, the action by the NDLA. I, I'll tell you for real that if you look at the language of um, the statement we issued um, about two days ago, we did say categorically that irrespective of the social status of whoever is involved, either in the illegal sale or illegal use of this, um, we will indeed uh, will the big stick on such persons. And that, um, um, without exception to celebrities, influencers, or whoever, we indeed mean that, and that's why I said earlier that um, some of these people, we already, um, I mean, the agency um, already have them as persons of interest, meaning that they are under uh, the watch of the agency at the moment, and uh, we will go all out to ensure that um, we bring them to face um, the wrath of the law when they do, uh, when they step out of um, 
uh, of the line. That's um, that's ongoing. And I can also tell you that in the last 24 hours, when um, after the the, the the directive by the Chairman Chief Executive of uh, the NGLA, General Mara, to all our commands and uh, formations across the country to move all out against um, the illegal sale and the uh, use of this particular substance. I'm telling you that indeed we're, we're getting reports from the field that indeed our operatives are doing um, tremendously well in um, mopping some of these things. And in one particular location, I can tell you that indeed um, within the last 24 hours, we've been able to shin down over 16,000 packs of this particular mm. substance. Um, just one particular location of over 16,000 packs of this thing. So that shows you um, that indeed we have quite some volume in circulation and, and across right. the country. But then indeed we are going all out to ensure that except for those that um, are legally permitted, that is those that are actually meant for medical purposes, okay. for other ones that are actually diverted for recreational purposes, we indeed ensure that um, we take them out of circulation. All right, Mr. Baba Femi, as you handle this and, you know, the other uh, kinds of drugs that are currently being abused, uh, you know, it's important for the agency to be ahead of uh, the competition, if I may put it that way. So what are you doing to look out for, you know, other, other items that citizens might just want to begin to abuse as a result of your efforts to eliminate what they have been used to over time? I, I, I did. That's um, exactly why um, we, that's how we were able to narrow down or discover um, that indeed um, nitrous oxide has um, become one of those um, emerging substances of abuse. And um, uh, indeed, we, we, we always uh, follow what we call narco trends. And we don't just um, look at our own immediate environment. We look at what is happening in other jurisdictions, in other countries to see the development there so that we can look out for some of those things here. And that's why you will see us um, um, also going after the cartels behind um, uh, fentanyl. And that's why um, you see that uh, in the last couple of weeks, we've been able to uh, indeed dismantle, I mean, two major syndicates of uh -huh. that one in Anabra and the other one in the Wari Dental State. So mm. indeed, we're going... Um, not only for the, 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 the conventional, I mean, we're also monitoring development um, in the area of um, new psychoactic substances, the squishies, we're going all out for, for them, I mean, for those uh, behind the production. We've okay. had quite um, a number of people involved, I mean, arrested. And the, the, the recent one happened in uh, Shagam, somewhere, Shagam in Ogun State. Yes, Femi, we, we can go on and on about this matter because it's something that uh, needs to be addressed and it's a very critical issue but i'm afraid that the much time would permit us to take at this time thank you very much for talking to us director media and advocacy of the ndla femi baba femi thank you again thank you for having us and we're grateful to tbc for what you are doing thank you for this